Hi, I just wanted to share with you how to use the facial template that you can purchase in my Etsy shop with needle sculpted cloth doll heads. What I do is I put the head, needle, you know, the cloth doll head on a chopstick um, so that I can stabilize it while I'm using the template and then I place the head inside the oval of the template. Um, and then I use those lines on the template to kind of give me a reference point for where all of the facial features are. And as you can see right here, I'm just making marks along the side, you know, the side of the bridge of the nose. And then I'm putting a mark for each nostril. And I find like before I do the needle sculpting, I like to put all my placement marks first. Um, because they do change with the needle sculpting. So um, the whole purpose of this is to try to um, have all of the facial features more symmetrical than by just eyeballing it. Um, I do use a lot of measurements um, because I don't have the ability to just eyeball where everything is. So I do feel more comfortable measuring them. And the other tool that I use is a sewing gauge for my measurement. And there I'm measuring the distance between the inner corner of each eye and then I'll use that same distance to determine the distance between each inner and outer corner of each eye um, and as you see like while I'm doing this I am readjusting where the measurements are and changing my marks accordingly and then I'll go back and erase those marks but I'm not real worried uh, about the pencils making a mess out of the face um, because I do use paints and artist pencils and artist pens and it just seems to blend in and I prefer the mechanical pencil better than um, the um, markers that you can buy um, for sewing where you just wet it and you know erase the mark so I find like the accuracy is more important to me um, and as you notice on the template there's uh, you know lines that are labeled for the eye nose and mouth line and that's just the suggestion um, as an artist you can determine wherever you'd like to place your facial features and if you want a more childlike face, you put the eyes lower. If you want a more adult-like face, you put them higher. And here what I'm doing is I'm using the center of each eye as a reference point for the outer corners of the mouth. And then I'll mark them with the pencil. And when I'm done with that, I'll take the head right out of the face template and I usually draw a little bow in the center of the mouth with my pencil and then I make a line from that little bow um, to each side um, of the mouth to the outer corner of the mouth. Now when I do this um, I make sure I'm pretty conscious of um, the fact that this is the inner line of the mouth in between the upper and lower lips. So I need to make sure that I leave enough space for the upper lip. Now when I'm done I just um, place it back into the template, make sure everything's where I want it. If I feel like I need to adjust some of the markings, I'll do that before I start the needle sculpting. Um, put new marks in where I think they really should be after, you know, looking at it in the template one last time and then erasing the marks that I don't want. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. And if you have, you know, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me. Bye now.